Hi everybody, this is Malakaiju and today I'll be showing off my uh, G-Fest 22 haul. Keep in mind this is my, my first G-Fest, so yeah, overall it was a great, amazing experience being at G-Fest. And today I'll be showing off my haul. Now before I show off my haul, I do want to mention some people I actually saw at G-Fest this year. Uh, first of all, I saw Gojira 5100. I saw him, you know, most of the time in G-Fest, you know, in all the three days. Other people I saw were Godzilla, Louis Duran, King Go Japan 2002, uh, Easyla Monster Number 3, hopefully I got your name correctly. And also, uh, someone by the name of Alex, I know that's his real name, I'm not really sure what his YouTube channel was, but I remember, I believe I was him in the second day, or the first day, I forgot. I'm pretty sure it was the second day, but yeah, I saw him in the second day when I was purchasing some figures. Uh, but yeah, sorry if I did not get your YouTube channel name. But anyways, let's get started with my G-Fest 22 haul with the first figure costing only $5. Um, and this is the Ultraman Max Lagarus. This figure is pretty neat. I really like the whole, all, like, all the detail. Look at the back. It looks really great. Um, though this guy only has two points of articulation, which are just the arms. Um, this guy is very rare because it's from the Ultraman Max series. And also, this guy normally costs around, you know, 40 to $50. So, in my opinion, this is a very, very great deal. So, I'll put it right here. That looks good. Maybe more over here. <coughs> uh, sorry for coughing. I'm probably going to be coughing a lot in this video. But anyways, uh, another figure I got was the Bandai Gold Dress. This is a pretty cool figure with like the you know the red highlights as you can see right there and all the gold stuff or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, overall really really neat figure. Next figure I got this definitely has to be one of my favorite figures I got. Oh uh, sorry I forgot to mention this guy was uh twenty dollars. But anyways, uh this next figure was only forty dollars, which I say is a pretty good deal as well. And you know this guy is super like incredibly awesome. And basically, this guy is the theater exclusive Godzilla 2004. Yes, this guy is really, really amazing. I just love this guy so much. Um, and it's probably my favorite theater exclusive figure that exists and even that I own. So, yeah, awesome figure, without a doubt. I might put it here instead, actually. Not really sure where to put it at right now. Anyways, next figure I got was a figure I wanted to get at G-Fest 22, but I wasn't expecting them to have it because, you know, it was a newly released figure that was released in March of this year, but uh, thankfully I found it for $25, which is a pretty good deal, I guess, um, and I found this guy by the name of Super Grand King Spectre with tag, which I took off the tag, um, but I, I have it somewhere, it's in this, like, it's in this box that I have right here for the tags are at, but yeah. It's it's somewhere around there. Let me try and find the tag. Um yeah, here's the tag. Here's the tag for this guy. So yeah. But yeah, this guy is really, really awesome. I mean the detail is just amazing. I also like I also like these like black things. I don't know what these things are supposed to be, but yeah, overall, very, very cool figure. I was gonna get El Talgar. That's all Gar. I don't know how you really say it. But um, instead, I got this guy because, in my opinion, this is a way better figure. <coughs> <coughs> uh, next figure I got <clears throat> for $12, which um, I actually got this guy from the a bin that was like titled the 50% off bin, I guess you can call it. But I basically got this guy for $12, as mentioned. And this guy is. Monstarger, um, yeah, pretty cool figure, I really like it, um, you know, for $12, I say, pretty cool, and it's also pretty tough for a, um, you know, a uh, 6 inch figure, but yeah, really cool, and I especially like the back, the back is probably the best part, actually, of this figure, so yeah, pretty neat, uh, probably put it here, since he's pretty tall, I guess, um, no, that's, that's probably not the best spot, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, next figure I got was another theater exclusive figure. And this is the theater exclusive 
Godzilla 2000. This guy is also pretty cool. I got this guy for surprisingly $20 only. And it's pretty cheap. Uh, now, the reason why I got it for $20 was because, you know, the spike is kind of uneven, as you can tell right there. Uh, but I don't really care. You know, the other figures in GFS that were like this costed, you know, from 30 to 40 So I say that's pretty cool. I need to scoot these a little more in the back because uh, there's some big ones coming very soon. Lagarus likes to fall, actually. Like a lot. Anyways, um, okay. Can you see him? Yeah, okay. Um, and the last figure I got for uh, day one, and over on my last Ultraman figure, uh, this is the uh, Bandai Daigerin. This is actually a pretty small figure, but uh, you know, I actually just really like him. I mean, especially the color scheme. Which pretty neat, and also the detail up in the head, and in the stomach area. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And that's day one. Now for day two, um, I got a figure that I've always wanted for a very long time. And this is the Toy Stream Project from Meltdown Godzilla with tag. Which, let me take out the tag right now. Where is it at? It is right... <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, here's the tag. Yeah, pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, this is pretty cool. Really like this figure. I mean, look at the white trans. I really like the white translucency parts, and then like the red spikes looks really cool. This figure almost looks like a gummy, like a gummy, uh, a gummy candy. I guess you can call it like a gummy bear or something. But yeah, really, really cool figure. Um, yeah, right there. Okay, next figure I got uh, was the Theater Exclusive. This guy is really cool. For how much? $40? 45 Yeah, $45. I got the Theater Exclusive Godzilla 2002. I mean, look at that yellow scar and then the blue right here. It just looks so fantastic. Also, this guy was 65 I know that's a lot of money, but who cares? Anyway, this guy is really, really awesome. Especially like the blue, as I already showed, but yeah, awesome figure. Um, is there any space over here? No, just put it right here instead. Uh, there we go. Next figure I got, I wasn't expecting to actually get this, but I found it for a pretty cool deal of $30. Um, and yeah, this guy was for $30, as I already mentioned, and that is Godzilla 1991 figure. Um, I was kind of surprised that I actually got this figure because I wasn't really expecting to get this. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased I got this. Pretty cool, uh, toy. Put it actually... No, never mind. I'm going to put it right here instead. Next figure I got was a, uh, you know, a free figure that I got because I answered with Gojira 300. I answered into this sort of scavenger hunt. And basically, uh, we were the first ones to find the stuff I guess and basically uh, we were top winners and we got these stuff um, I got the Gash Pond got 2002 while he got the 1955 Gash Pond so yeah that's pretty cool for free that's that's pretty good um, right here and last figure I got this was by Vampire Robots or something uh, but yeah they um, they actually made a custom made figure. This is actually pretty cool. I think I got this guy for a hundred. I know that's a lot of money, but uh you know, it's a very well custom made figure. It looks really awesome. Um so I decided to get this guy right here. Uh Burning Godzilla. Uh now the light is kinda dim right now, but if you put in the light, um, you know, this is like translucent almost. And look at those spikes. The spikes look so amazing. Look at that. That looks so so awesome. Uh, so I'll put it right here. Overall, pretty pretty cool figure. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it here. It's mostly wide. It's not that tall, but it's mostly just wide. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Um. And now for the third day, the final day at G Fest. It was actually very sad that the third day, um, you know, already passed. But anyways. 
Um, yeah, the first figure I got in the third day was the Bandai Cretaceous King Ghidorah. I've always wanted to get another, uh, you know, Ghidorah figure since I already have a GMK King Ghidorah, I have the regular King Ghidorah, and I also have the Mecha King Ghidorah, so I decided to get this guy. This guy is pretty cool. I'm um, really like the detail, especially on the tail. I mean, look at the tail. It looks really, really amazing in my opinion. The undershot of the tail just looks really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, where did I put this guy at? Hmm. Maybe here. Yeah, that's good. Maybe. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> um, oh yeah. I did forgot to mention, this guy was, um, how much was that guy actually? I forgot. That guy was, I think it was $40. $40, yeah, I think, pretty sure it was $40. But anyways, next figure I got... This guy is obviously my favorite figure I got in this year's G-Fest, and that is the X Plus 30 centimeters Godzilla 2002. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is just so amazing. I mean, you know, this is my favorite Godzilla incarnation, so I definitely had to get this guy without a doubt. And this guy is just absolutely fantastic. Look at all that detail on the spikes, and the face also looks amazing. But yeah, this guy is just super, super fantastic. So I guess I'll just put it back here, I guess, or something. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, right there. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Okay. Uh, next figure I got, um, so, you know, it was Gamera's 50th anniversary, so I decided to get this guy for $60. Um, and this is the Plasma Gamera. I don't know how it's really called, but I'm just going to call it Plasma Gamera just for now. Also, the X Plus figure was $160. I forgot to mention about that. But anyways, yeah, this is a very, very great figure. I mean, look at the color scheme. I mean, this is probably the main reason why I got it. Looks really, really nice. No, that's too much. Maybe right there. Or something. Maybe right here, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'll just put it there, maybe. I just want you to see all the figures I got. Actually, no, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, um, uh, next figure I got was the 50th anniversary Godzilla 1955. Uh, now that, now this guy actually, uh, came with the tag, but I don't know where it's at right now. I'm pretty sure I left it in the room. I don't have it in this little thing. Also, I did forgot to, uh, bring this up. This is the tag for the Tito exclusive, uh, Godzilla 2002. Godzilla, excuse me, Godzilla 2003 figure, which is this one right here. So, yeah, I forgot to mention about that. Anyways, but, uh, I don't want to even put it in there. But anyways, yeah, this is a very, very cool figure. I mean, look at that face. The face actually looks really good. The spikes also look really awesome as well. But, yeah, this guy is really, really neat. Um, I don't know where to put this guy anymore. I guess right. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just put him right here. Okay, next guy I got... This is an Essen Monster Arts figure. I'm pretty surprised I actually got this figure. Uh, but this is the uh, Essen Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Special Color Version. Yeah, I really wanted this guy mainly because it has a spike similar to that of the 2002 Godzilla, which is my favorite Godzilla design. But yeah, pretty cool figure overall. This was uh, 80 no, it was $75. And the 50th anniversary Godzilla 1955 was uh, $60. So. Yeah. There's any space right here. Put these a little more over here. Yeah, that looks good. And last figure I got at G Fest 22 for around $40. Yeah, $40. I got the theater exclusive GMK King of Dora. Now, I already have the regular version of this guy, so I decided to get a theater exclusive version of this guy. So, yeah, very, very cool figure. Really like all the sparkles and all that stuff, or whatever. And the detail, just like in the regular figure, is also absolutely fantastic. So, I'll put this guy over, um, over here, maybe. That's the only place I know where to put it at. Okay, but, uh, yeah, that's my whole entire collection. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please tell me comment below what are your thoughts on the figures I got at this year's G-Fest. And if you did went to G-Fest, please tell me comment below 
what figures did you get at GFest 22? But that basically all for this video. Remember, subscribe, like, and comment. This is Milo Kaiju, signing out.